Okay, in this video we're going to assume you have watched the getting started video for Onshape. You know how to do things like change the camera, you've set your units as you need to, and you're ready to make some things out of timber. So we're going to start by doing a sketch, and we're going to do it on the top plane. And then we're going to click on the top so we're looking in the right direction. What I would recommend is to draw all of the components of your project on this one and use a different sketch for each type of thickness. So let's press the dimension button here or the D key and add some lengths to these. And this one we might make a common width like 90. This one will make much longer. Maybe this part is 450 long. And once again, by 90. If things are in the way, you can simply drag them around. As long as everything is blue, you'll be able to drag it where you want it. And let's set up something particularly long, another rectangle. And once again, we'll dimension with the D key, set it to 90. And this one is currently 842, so we'll round that up to 850. Let's imagine we were building something that had these three different sizes of pieces. So we can tick the box once we're finished drawing our bits of timber. And then our next step is to click on Extrude. And that will take these flat 2D images and turn them into 3D pieces of timber. So we can click on each shape and then put in the thickness of the timber. So we might go 19 for this, hit the tick. And we have parts 1, 2, and 3 listed down here. If you're finding the planes annoying, you can either turn them on and off here, or simply the P key, P for plane, to hide and show. Okay, let's imagine that we had some pieces that we didn't want to be 19 thick. So in that case, we would do a second sketch. And once again, we're going to sketch on the top. We can click over on the left. And then I might draw my piece, dimension it, 90 by, this one can be 300. I draw all the pieces that are going to be in 12 mil when I'm happy, hit the tick, and repeat the process, extrude, click on the shape, and put in my thickness, 12 mil. Now what you can do is rename all of these things here. So I might rename the first sketch to be 19 mil pieces. The second sketch to be 12 millimeter pieces. It's conceivable you might have a large piece of plywood or something like that. So you would do a third sketch and then rename that three millimeter plywood or whatever it is that you were using. So to do basic planks, that's all we need to do. However, let's put in some joinery. So we're going to double click on our 19 mil pieces and we might do a halving joint here. So I'm going to come up to the line tool and I'm going to draw a line from one side to the other and then I'm going to use the line tool again and you can see that I'm getting a little midpoint floating symbol there to tell me it's going to snap to the midpoint. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. From the midpoint to the midpoint. And once again, we're going to dimension that we want from this line and this line to be 19. And this line and this line to be 19. The last step is to come up to the trim tool, which is the scissors, or M on the keyboard, and we can simply click to delete the parts that we no longer want. Okay, when we hit the tick, everything should update. You can see our extrusion has updated. The way this program works is to just follow everything down in order. So if we edit the 19mm piece, extrude one is applied straight after. 
once you've drawn all of your separate components, and you could do the same type of thing in the sketch for dovetail or halving or any type of joint that you would like to do, you can come down and then you might choose to do something like naming your parts. So I'm trying to remember this one. I think it was 90 by 200 by 19 and so forth. I won't do it in this video to speed it up. But that would be step one in creating a timber item in Onshape.